One of the biggest challenges that those women were facing was that they were in those relationships because they were not economically empowered. And this goes right down to having a good education. So what we really admired about the work that you are doing, you are dealing with a very important area of closing the gap so that women in the future are not being abused because they are not empowered to take care of themselves and that women are respected. Today, I think we have achieved that to a very, very great extent. And we have a lot of women who are secure in their relationships, in their marriages, because they have a good foundation and a good education. So for that, we are truly grateful. And there was the affirmative action that girls can be accepted to different levels of education with lower grades than boys. And you really, really worked hard on that. And very many women today are beneficiaries of university education because of just that one point difference that was lowered to enable girls to get a good education. So just to say that you have mentored so many, you will never know them, you will never see them, but their life completely changed because of those few deeds that you did that have had a very, very serious impact on very many women. Those of us who are in leadership today have benefited. We are there in leadership because of the work that a lot of you did for women to come into representation, women to participate in political leadership, and you fought for quarters, fought for it for so many years. And today, we are here because we have been able to be empowered, we have a voice, we are firm, we are able to stand strong and talk and represent women in this country.